a second on the party principle, but right on time, we were just talking about hashtags, communities, listening, and engagement, and Johnny asked the question, can you tell me more? Can you explain to me about hashtags? I don't get it. I'm new to Twitter. Okay, so we're going live, uncut. This is my my Twitter on my uh, Nokia here. This is my, that's Sean M. Miller on uh, Twitter on my Nokia. And there are two streams of communication here. So I am publishing tweets, right? You'll see those tweets that are coming from me. Uh, and those tweets are coming from me. And some of them are coming from Social Cloud Suite. And some of them are coming natural. And some of them are uh, interactions that I've had. And many of them are, are also retweets and things of other people that I'm following. So there's a, a rich variety of things going on in that content but the only people that are seeing the stream of that content uh, by by the nature of user are those who are following me now gratefully i have nearly a hundred thousand followers and lots of interaction and connection i mean many people have followed me today there's a lot going on here today so i'm communicating with many people and understand this is social networking so we, we get what we give. It's very important that we're engaged in communicating with people. Uh, we're not just pushing content. And it's very important that we're putting our content out at a human-like pace. Uh, if I suspect, if I if I see someone on Twitter who is not a, a human being, they don't have a picture, they're, they're not a human being, and they're obviously broadcasting in a mechanical, entirely mechanical way, I'm, I'm out. I'm not following that person. So that's one stream of information, right? Those people that are following me, those that are following you. And in building a following is, is good, valuable, and important. But also happening here are hashtag conversations. So let's look at one of the that I talk about often. I'm involved with the hashtag Shark Tank. So here's a tweet, uh, the visit of Young Entrepreneurs Academy on Shark Tank. And when we click on that, it'll take you, that's a, that's a, a wee boggy post, that's a social cloud suite post, so it'll tell you uh, more about that. And there's a comment on a photo. So this is live. There's really things going on here. But when I hit that hashtag, hashtag shark tank, I now open up, and now let's see if you can see this, I now open up a community of conversation about shark tank. There are sharks. There are people who are talking about the show. They're talking about products that they bought on the show, uh, the show itself, media covering the show, uh, Whole Foods having new product that was featured on the show. Uh, it's a whole conversation connected by the hashtag of Shark Tank. So one of the things that I did was I really liked the show and I discovered that many people watch the show and they tweet about the show during the show. They use hashtag Shark Tank, which like this then connects you to a whole community of people that are on conversation around that subject matter tied together mechanically by the hashtag, not by following. So now by commenting about the pitches, or the products, or the sharks, and things that they say, and using hashtag Shark Tank, millions of people that are also watching the show all around the world are seeing my comments. Many people will, will comment back, share, we tweet, they'll follow me. Um, and what's, what's happened from that then is from engaging directly, and this is, this is not automated, this is live watching the show, tweeting, commenting, live watching the show, using hashtag Shark Tank as I do, uh, people that uh, the, the sharks, the staff of the sharks, and the producers of the show have all become to see me as a as an influencer in that space and follow me because I'm influential in the space of the hashtag. I've become influential in the show. And my favorite story about that is that when they launched the Shark Tank Australia and in last fall, the producers of Shark Tank Australia contacted me, sent me a preview copy of the first episode, told me when it would be so that I could communicate about it so that I could tweet using hashtag Shark Tank about the new uh, Shark Tank Australia and comment on it with as an authority. So this is creating return on relationships 
new engagements, return on in relationships. And I can tell you that in my business coaching business that I have met many prospects that have come to me as clients or come to my events have come to me because of hashtag Shark Tank, including several people that have pitched on the show. And I've commented on the pitch using the hashtag and they've come and said, hey, what did you think of my pitch? They see that I'm influential. They see that I'm in business and they'll ask for my opinion. So the hashtag connects to to context and that context is global it's very very active on Twitter very very active on Instagram Instagram entirely driven by hashtags not followers now it's important to note that hashtags are not necessarily uh, a common word or the type of thing that you would use uh, you quite often want to find something that is unique to the culture of your audience for example you know I have a fitness business and in the fitness business one of the words that we use is hashtag gym flow J J Y M F L O U or F L O W. I have no idea what gym flow means. I don't know where it came from. I don't care. It's very active in the culture of people that are really into fitness. So you want to use uh, search.twitter.com, search by hashtags, search your subject subject matter, and, and here's my last uh, growth hack. <laughs> here's my Twitter hack. Growth hack is one that I'm using now. I never say growth hack. I'm not even really sure what a growth hack is, but my audience is really interested and they're tracking, they're using that word. So I'm using that word to collect, connect with them. Now, one of the ways that you do that really, really well is if you know there are thought leaders and influencers in your market space, follow them, see what hashtags they are using and see what kind of response they're getting to those hashtags or to those tweets that contain those hashtags. And quite often you will find ones that are gonna be active for your niche by finding the thought leaders in your niche. Who you want to know, connect with, and network with, and engage with in a social networking environment anyway. That, thanks Johnny for the great question, and we'll keep talking about hashtags. And the Social Cloud Suite will insert your hashtags right at step three of your campaign creation and put them right into the publication for you. you but you need to do a little research and find the right ones that are going to be the best ones to connect with your audience. Thanks, everybody. There's, thanks for the great questions. Keep asking great questions. Man, we have tons of new users. Welcome all the new Social Cloud Suite clients. We're thrilled to meet you. My name is Sean. I'm the CEO. I like this thing so much. I bought the company and I'm excited to meet you. We'll talk again real soon, okay?